if we're not careful of how we use the Earth's resources, we will soon not have Earth's resources to, to use. Our climate is changing around the world. Drier summers, fiercer storms, milder winters. You know, and sometimes I think we think everything is going to continue forever just as it is. And it isn't. It's expendable and we need to preserve it. The weather seems to be all over the map, and it's been that way for a while now. The Earth's climate is changing. If we love something, we will do what we can to be responsible for its continuance. Climate change is very complicated, but experts agree that accelerated rising global temperatures have already put some of our natural world at risk and will likely alter the makeup of entire ecosystems. My life, of course, is my ministry in a way. Now at Osage Forest in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. It has influenced me because it has helped me be more contemplative. And there we treasure the earth. It helps me to be a part of inspiring others, hopefully by my presence, by my actions, to con to also be true to creation, allowing creation and nature to influence them. As our climate continues to change, wildlife, especially those that are threatened or endangered, will either adapt to changes or they may disappear forever. The word ahimsa, it means do no harm. So we do no harm to any of God's creation that includes killing things like bugs, mice. If there's a spider in my cabin, we have like a little bug cup. I put the cup on top of the spider. Slide a laminated prayer of St. Francis underneath it and carry it outside. Now I can't tell you how many times I've made that trip. Habitat loss and alteration collectively is a huge challenge for wildlife conservation as it is. You throw in climate change into the mix and it adds another layer of complexity. We're losing land to development, to beachfront property, and we're also going to witness sea level rise in the future. With awareness, I can make choices. Without awareness, I don't make the choices. And with awareness, I know when I'm, not, when I'm misusing the Earth's resources. The Diamondback Terrapin is a great model to consider when thinking about the power of climate change and the impacts that humans have had on the environment. Turtles have managed to survive for 200 million years, but they haven't fared as well in the modern world. Also openness, openness to being willing to change and to look at things and be, be influenced by other people and by what I see around me. Another potential consequence associated with climate change is more frequent and severe drought. In national and state forests, parks, and wildlife refuges, wildfires may become much harder to control and alter the composition of the forest, places we've set aside to protect. Drought could also devastate populations of migratory birds, especially those using the prairie pothole region in the Midwest as their annual flyway to Canada. Sometimes we can get stuck, and I can get stuck, in one way of doing something and, and not want to change because it's, it's not always easy to compost. It's not always easy to use natural things instead of plastics or other things, you know? The way we use paper, the way we use water, the way we use all of natural resources, it means I have to change my habits, and so it's not always easy to do that. And yet, if I treasure something, I'm willing to make those sacrifices. 